Hello prototypers! I'm going to show you how to use the fritzing tool to create both pictorial diagrams like this one as well as accompanying schematic diagrams like this one. So same circuit but here's the pictorial representation and here's the circuit schematic representation. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to File New. I'm going to resize my screen a little bit so that it's using the full recording space pretty good okay so we're not going to use a breadboard for this whoa I'm already drawing lines look at that middle mouse click by the way is how you pan so I can pan stuff with the middle mouse click holding it down to drag so I'm going to delete this breadboard select it left mouse click and now we've got a clean canvas here so the first thing we want to do is uh, go over here to the right side this is the parts panel and we're going to look for a, uh, a power source so we can just type in 9 volts. We're going to use a 9 volt battery. This is the one I like to use. looks just like this. And you can see we have both the cathode and anode coming out through these two wires. And then we're going to use that to, uh, to build out our uh, LED based circuit with a current limiting resistor. So the next thing we might want to get, uh, we're going to also use a button. So we can look for a switch. And specifically, I mean, there's a lot of options, <laughs> and not all of which are, are perfectly suited for what we want. And I believe this is the one, yeah, that I tip, tend to use. So this is a, a single throw switch, and it, the schematic looks like, looks like this down here. So perfect, so we can go back to breadboard, we can zoom in and out here. And then you'll notice it has like little nodes here and as I mouse over it, it changes the cursor slightly. And so we could use that to draw our wires. So we're drawing a wire now from the button over to the positive terminal of the battery. The next thing we need is that current limiting resistor. So we can type in resistor and again, lots and lots of stuff. The other thing we could do is actually click on core and we know this is a core part and oftentimes used. See, we see a resistor here, some capacitors, transistors, uh, various kinds of input and sensors, output LEDs and so on, which will come in handy soon. So we could just click over and grab that resistor. Then down here, there's this rotate and flip. Um, so we can do that. That's what we wanna do uh, next is we wanna orient this a little bit and we're going to draw over to from the the other side of the button now down into the resistor the resistor is a non polarized uh, component so you can go in in either direction I tend to like to have that gold stripe at the top but it doesn't really matter either way in either direction you can place it so you can if you want you can certainly flip it around so for example I can rotate okay but I'm going to rotate it with that gold strip on the top and again drag the wire over and then what's cool about fritzing is you can just click in anywhere into a wire and make it um, and, and create these bend points. Or you can right click and you could say add bend point if you want. The other thing to note is I think it has the grid on by default, which is totally fine and actually makes things look quite nice. Uh, but sometimes when I'm making screenshots, I don't like to have the grid on. So we'll, we'll keep the grid on for now. And then that other component that we said we wanted was the LED. And importantly, the LED is a polarized component. So the, it has a cathode. So if you mouse over, it should pop out. Um, so the cathode is, tends to be the short leg on an LED or the anode, which is the longer leg, which is represented by this little bend point here. So we've got to orient this so that the long leg is pointed towards the positive terminal of our battery because current will only flow through an LED in one direction. So what we'll do here is we'll rotate it and then flip it. And that looks good to me. Um, so again, just doubling checking, that's the anode and that needs to face this side of the circuit. Okay, uh, I, I was not able to figure out actually how to create a wire by just dragging these two things so they're not connecting. So I tend to just click on a previously created wire and then um, I'm sure there's a better way of doing this but I've literally done that for years and that's just the way it goes. So we'll connect those two things together and we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to click on that copy and paste so we can copy and paste components and then we'll connect that. And now we have a complete circuit. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Um, I like to make it, things look a little bit like this. So there we are. So now the, the, the current will flow this direction down through the resistor, up through the anode of the LED, down through the cathode, 
and then through this blue wire and then back there and so on and so forth. Uh, maybe like, uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now once you're done with that and pretty happy with it, um, now we'll go over to the schematic. You're about to be in for, for a nice surprise, a bit of a rat's nest. So even with this simple circuit, we'll look at what Fritzig has been doing underneath the hood. And oh boy, the connections are correct. Um, but it's, 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 it's pretty messy. So, um, you know, if you want, you can hit auto route here and it'll try to, to auto route the wires. Uh, I wasn't able to figure out one, but, but that's not what I tend to do. Uh, or, or I'll do some kind of combination. So let's, let's clean this up. So I'm going to try to basically make the schematic match the pictorial representation. So remember we had the, the power source, the battery on the, on the left side over here. So let's do that. That's this right here. So maybe the first thing we want to do is just rotate this into a proper position. Position. These longer lines at the top are the um, uh, are the uh, positive terminals of the battery. That's represented by that longer longer line there for higher electric potential. And then we had that switch. Remember, we had the switch on the top that was connected. So that's over here. Again, I'm just clicking on these components so that I can move them. Whoopsies! Just hit undo. Let's see if I can grab this. I have to zoom in. There we go. All right, so that's also in the wrong order. Look, we're gonna make this look nice in just a second. So um, we're gonna flip this over and it's just gonna suddenly look really quite nice. Uh, so let's let's grab this again, move that over there. We're gonna move the LED down. We're almost there now. So we just need to flip this. So the way we do that is we go over here and we could say flip horizontal, which is what we want. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so, so this is starting to look, let's again, go back to our breadboard. Right, remember we had the, the little button here, the switch, the the resistor, and then the LED. So almost there. So um, what else do we want to do? Well, we certainly want to rotate that. Uh, and you can click on these labels, and we can move those over here. And then you can actually right click on an individual label to, to, to rotate that. So I can click on this and rotate it. So that looks quite nice. Ooh, another thing that I need to do is actually change this to a 470 ohm resistor. So I can do that down here. I can go over here and 470. And once I do that, it'll actually change it here too. I mean, they are linked representations, right? So if I go here and click on this and do 470, the nice thing to do it from pictorial is it'll show you the color bands will change to represent 470. So there you go, the color bands have changed. We'll go back to the schematic and you see it's 470. All right, and let's move this. LED there. Now, we have these dotted lines. We also say zero, four nets routed, four connections still to be routed. So this, these, these dotted lines need to be converted into traces. So we can right click on them, click on create trace from rat's nest, and there you go. And just like with the breadboarding version or the pictorial representation, you can click on the middle of a wire and it turns it into a bend point. So there we have that. Let's do the same thing. Right click on this, create tra trace from rat's nest. There we have it and looking good one more here and then the final one is down here and then again I, I just like to clean this up make it look super clean and readable for my for my readers or from my future self and then the last thing is just kind of making sure that the labels look good so uh, let's see in this case I think counterclockwise looking pretty good and move this label obviously for the LED. All right, so there we have this circuit. Remember the power source, which is our nine volt battery through the switch, the resistor, through the anode leg of our LED, down through the cathode, and then back over to the negative terminal of our battery. And the same thing on the breadboard. So there we go. Hopefully you learned a lot. It only took a couple minutes for us to do this. Thank you for your attention.